Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. In this video today guys we're diving down into the world of Polygon specifically to talk about the price action of Matic. As we get into this video if you do find it useful and informative hit the like button really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe tap that bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Right with all that said done and out of the way let's actually dive down into the charts and talk about what's going on here with Matic. Okay guys, so we're going to spend some time just on this weekly chart to start with, really highlighting the kind of progress that Matic has had so far and where we think we are going to end this fifth wave. Um, ultimately, we are talking about five impulsive waves to the upside. This is something that is called, um, if I actually get my chart up here, Elliott Impulse Waves, one through five, okay? And um, basically, this is involves three pushes to the upside, uh, so wave one, wave three, and wave five. Uh, there's also two downward trends, okay? These are the correction waves, uh, wave two and wave four, okay? So this is something that we've obviously been talking about on the channel for quite some time. Hopefully most people are familiar with these impulsive moves to the upside. Now, obviously we've endured wave two and wave four, and we are now starting to heat up with this fifth wave. But the question that we, we find ourselves being asked a lot is where is the bull run likely to end with Matic? And, you know, what approximate time frame are we talking about as well? Um, so the first thing we're going to do is actually address, okay, where do we think this fifth wave is likely to end? Now, there's a couple of different ways of doing this. On our daily chart, for example, we take a Fibonacci from the top of wave three and the bottom of wave four. This gives us a $9.43 target if we come back to our weekly we can actually be a little bit more um scientific about it right we can actually use this data that we have here um to actually help us understand where things are going uh using more than just one trend line okay so rather than just focusing in on this downtrend where bitcoin fell down from 65k to 28k we can be smarter about it we can actually take into consideration the low area of wave two the high area of wave three and the low area of wave four that i.e what we're doing here is taking into consideration the downtrend of wave two, the uptrend for wave three, and the downtrend for wave four. When we take into consideration three out of the five waves, that helps us understand where that fifth wave has the potential of going. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a trend-based Fibonacci retracement um, tool, or if the, what they actually call it on this particular platform, is a trend-based Fib extension. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it from the low area of wave two, just at the bottom here. We're going to ride it up to the top of wave three, just here. And then we're going to go and pull this down to the bottom of wave four. Okay, this shows us moving out to $12.07. And that is where the fifth wave would potentially end here for Matic based on the trends that we've seen in this bull run so far. So we're not just plucking numbers out of the air. We're basically taking a look at the downtrends and the uptrends of this bull run. Okay, and we're saying, okay, based on the trends that we've seen so far, what is the next trend going to probably look like? And that puts uh, Matic actually out there at $12.07. And I do think that is something that is... Uh, uh, very much possible when it comes to the protocol. I think this is something that Polygon um, absolutely should be striving for and something that I do anticipate actually happening as Ethereum really does heat up and makes those gas fees unmanageable. This is where the transactional volume with Polygon and Matic are really going to come in. So overall, it's good to know that we have good structure on our weekly chart and we're heading out to some pretty interesting targets, right? $12.07 would be a pretty good price appreciation considering, you know, we've already moved up from the low areas of March 2020 through to where we peaked up in May of 2021. 42 and a half thousand percent in gains, right? If we were to go ahead and actually complete this uh, this bull run, let me grab the right part of the data here. Uh, if we were to actually go ahead and actually complete this bull run up at $12.00, that would actually go ahead and uh, put us, if I get this on the line for you guys, uh, come on, there we go, um, 191,000%, guys. That would be very, very significant. I mean, the cheapness that you could have bought this in uh, at uh, basically one-sixth of a cent originally. If you saw the value in Matic nice and early, like Chris and myself, then you've seen, you've going, you've seen fantastic gains so far, but you're likely to see incredible gains by the end of the bull run if you've held on still. Um, so good gains have been made, good gains still on the table here. So let's actually jump down into a more conservative model, uh, which would be our daily view, okay? Our daily view shows us with that uh, Fibonacci running just from the top of wave three and the bottom of wave four, uh, moving out to a 4.236 extension of $9.43. So again, more conservative than a $12 target. Um, so again, if you want to lock in those profits and you don't want to scrape every dime out of the bull run, maybe you're new to the space, you just want to get those profits and then you know welcome the bear market, accumulate more, and then get into the next bull run. 
then $9.43 would be a pretty good target to be associated with. Now, obviously, on this daily chart, we go a little bit further above and beyond just, you know, speculating on where they think the bull run is likely to end and where we think the price is going to go. Um, ultimately, we think that, uh, you know, we're going to see the end of the bull run by quarter one of 2022 in line with pretty much Bitcoin kind of peaking out in late December. OK, and um, that would then mean that money will roll out of Bitcoin into Ethereum, out of Ethereum into altcoins. OK, so we should start to see Matic really going nicely around uh, the end of uh, December, beginning of January. That's my kind of expectations in terms of timing. But timing is always the hardest thing to get right. So take that with a pinch of salt. Above and beyond just where we think the bull run is ending and where we think the bull run is likely to end in terms of price appreciation, uh, we can also take a look at the patterns here on this daily chart. Now, on this daily chart, we have the cup and handle that we've been monitoring for a while. This actually has a good target set out of $2.52. We've made good progress. Getting rejected, though, from the 786 is coming in at this area just here on the chart. Again, this is always the area that we've been talking about being major resistance for us. So getting this to come up in here, um, getting rejected and then pushing back up the way we have done is actually a pretty good sign that we are potentially on the cusp of going and taking out our cup and handle target at $2.52. If you take a look at the daily stochastic RSI, it's right down there towards the oversold area. Plenty of room to grow over the next few weeks. So November is looking like a pretty interesting month here for uh, you know Matic overall. I think this is going to be a pretty good month and um, to see some good traction to the upside. Um, definitely new all-time highs, in my opinion, should be set if we continue on this direction. So ultimately, you know, cup and handle pattern not too far away. And obviously, we are talking about moving up to our first price target of $3.98. OK, um, again, you know, that's all-time high territory. So we've got a little bit of uh, work to just do to get here past our 786 of $2.52. Uh, sorry, $2.25, sorry. And um, to get past that, then we are going up to the $2.52 price target. That's the cup and handle. So obviously the cup here, the handle, that pushes up to $2.52. Once we get past that, and um, we're going to be talking about new all-time highs and, and, of course, new uh, price discovery. You know, $3.98 is the first target. Um, so overall, everything on this daily chart is looking very, very good for Matic. Now, when we jump into... Uh, evide.io of those who are unfamiliar there's a link in the description below uh, evide.io use artificial intelligence machine learning to help us understand the underlying value of cryptocurrencies and in the case of uh, matic here we're an a2 rating overall this is the best rating we've seen the platform actually give a cryptocurrency this is an important thing to just understand that it goes from a1 down to a rating of d a2 is the second best rating that the platform can give, but the best rating that we've ever seen it actually give a cryptocurrency. So we know that Polygon Matic is right up there as top tier right now. So this is a pretty good thing to understand. The AmiHad ratio is an A2 rating. This is basically your liquidity. Is there problems with buying and selling? Absolutely not. Um, it's pretty fluid right now and is looking pretty good from a liquidity point of view. Um, we have a fear and greed index that's up at A1. This basically is indicating to us extreme greed. This is where you start seeing FOMO and where you start to see basically, you know, people chasing green candles. Um, but this is also where you would expect to see as experienced traders taking profits. OK, so do expect some volatility here, even though people are FOMOing in. And this is already visible from today's daily candle. Uh, when we come on down, we can also see the sharp ratio. This is an A2. Well above the 50 day average, the sharp ratio is indicating to us that the rewards outweigh the risks and therefore exposure to Matic might not be a bad idea. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. Chris is not a financial advisor. Evide.io are not offering you financial advice, but they are breaking down the data to allow you to make your own judgment calls. You pair this up with the charts and you think you're going to be off to a good start and a good way to understand what is going on with your particular cryptocurrencies. So it's good to see that we have extreme greed with a very, very healthy sharp ratio. This is going to be a pretty bullish kind of sentiment in the space overall, helping us drive us into those new all-time highs that we are going after. The moving averages are right up there as an A2 rating as well. 10, 50, and 100 day moving averages, not a problem with those whatsoever. And the profitability is right up there as an A1. This is definitely one of the best performers for the portfolio, and it's been doing very, very well. So overall, no problems with our underlying data. Everything is in pretty good shape. So knowing that and knowing that the chart's heading down to this oversold area, knowing that profits have recently been taken and things are definitely getting quite greedy right now, let's jump into our hourly view and review what's actually going on here. As you can see, we started to get a good traction back to the upside. We can see that we are oversold and we're looking to push up. What we want to do now is actually get above that 786 and we're looking for good volume to come in here. If we actually go ahead and throw the volumes on, the volume decreased whilst we were correcting. 
And what we're looking for now is an increase in volume as we continue to push up. Um, ultimately, we had an ABC correction just here. We can see that on the chart. And what we're looking for is that break to the upside. We haven't had it yet. Instead, we've had a bunch of ABC moves uh, in corrective states. We haven't actually had any impulsive move yet. Um, so even on the, on the, the impulsive way on the way down, right, we had uh, you know almost an impulsive move. But instead, we keep invalidating these impulsive moves. And with the fourth wave actually moving up, basically invalidating the whole thing altogether, resulting in this actually not being impulsive but just an abc move to the downside this has then been followed by an abc move to the upside again another correction um, and again and then this is also followed up by moves to the downside now there is no abc on this particular move to the downside here and um, but again when we are looking to track to the upside we can see that there's definitely something here we're probably looking at the wrong time frame but again an abc move to the upside in that regard this is then also followed with another ABC to the downside. And what we're really looking for, guys, is that break, that, that move to the upside that basically allows us to say, that, yes, this is now an impulsive move. Right? This is what we're looking for. We're looking to keep that wave four above wave one, okay, not the other way around. So um, right now, things are definitely getting quite interesting here for Matic. Now, ultimately, we are looking to see if there are any other patterns forming out here. Um, and ultimately, I think the cup and handle is definitely on the cards for really getting that completion as we head out towards that $2.52. So I do anticipate us uh, moving up nicely now over the next few weeks and basically taking out all time high and heading up into new price discovery. Overall, I do expect uh, within the next couple of days to be above the 786 heading towards, if not achieving, our $2.52 cup and handle target. And then after that, really going after all time high. And I do think we are very, very close to it. So guys, I'm going to leave the video there. Um, hopefully you have found this useful and informative. If you have hit the like button, I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap that bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With this said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.